Hiring Hoosiers is an RTV6 initiative that works to connect Hoosiers to employment opportunities, resources, training, and also education. Well, Ivy Tech is among the state schools playing a big role in helping fill the 80,000 jobs that need to be filled statewide. Our own Rafael Sanchez sat down with the president of Ivy Tech, Sue Elsperman, in one of the school's robotics labs. Well, we began our discussion about the number of jobs available and how investing in these programs ranging from 8 to 16 weeks can really pay off. Our business is really clamoring for these skills. I mean, I saw here, right? We're going to skill people up. We want them to do better. But are people really saying, Dr. Elsperman, I need a hundred welders? Yes. I need a hundred. Yes. <laughs> yes. So we always talk about the 80,000 jobs that are open in Indiana. Out of those, over 40,000 of them fit within that hundred that I talked about, those hundred credentials you can earn for free like right with now. the state right now. Right now. There, over half of those, 45,000 of them, are in that category of the hot jobs that Indiana has defined and which the state of Indiana will pay you to go back and complete. If you don't have a high school diploma or you only have a high school diploma, do you know you've actually lost wages over the last 40 years, since 1980? You have lost 25% or more of your earning power. In real dollars, adjusted dollars, you're making 25% less than somebody in 1980. That's not acceptable. We know that most jobs are going to require some kind of post-secondary credential. That doesn't mean a master's or PhD. That means a short-term certificate, a certification, a associate degree or a bachelor's degree. You have to understand that's what a job is going to require. Well, beyond Ivy Tech, Vincennes University and Central 9 in Greenwood are places state grants can be used to get the training for those jobs that are in greatest demand.